We're here with Coach Michael Dennison and Phil Connolly of the Nomads uh, Sports Club. And we were going to ask about the UFL Cup, uh, first of all. Uh, for those at home watching, if uh, you, you can see them giggling on the side, there, there's been a few retakes of this opening. Uh, my bad on that one. But uh, moving to the Nomads. Um, first off, how do you see the, the UFL Cup going? There's uh, a lot of, uh, I think you've seen the seven new players. We'll get to those in a moment. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, well, firstly, when do you join the UFL Cup? Um, we join after October the second second, second uh, division teams have, mm. have all played. Yeah, and we're coming in the last 16, yeah. I believe. The top, mm. the, the top, the first division, 10 teams. Yeah. We'll join six from, from wherever, which will make 16. I think the first televised game is October the 2nd. Um, which hopefully will be nomads, but I doubt very much. Um, so I think that's the first one. Hopefully, it'll be like four groups of four. Mm. But yeah. October, October through November, I think the the, the couple. Uh, so there's uh, the first round with the second division teams and the the newer teams. Some of the new teams coming yeah. in, yeah. and yeah, then the qualifiers from those players, ones. The yeah. six <coughs> qualifiers will go in. If I'm not mistaken, I'm I think I'm top, correct. The top yeah. four of the second division, I think, are twice. I have this twice to beat advantage. I think over the. Oh, do the oh, is it like yeah. in the way? Yeah, I'm not oh, sure. Okay. I'm not sure though. That's okay. like the I pool knockout. We have us yeah. going the, the second chance division. Yeah, oh, that's, that's good. That's, good. that's, that's what it I does seem. It does seem a good idea. Obviously, it gives all. Because it gives the incentive for those who finish in the top four for the second division. Yeah. Definitely. <coughs> and how, how's Nomad's been going now? Uh, you've made seven new signings uh, for this squad list. We have. Uh, yeah, so who are you looking do. forward to seeing in, uh, in play? Um, well, obviously, Phil uh, Colony. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, yeah. he's familiar, yeah. he's familiar. <laughs> 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 have I, have he's are summer. you in a magazine or oh, something? <laughs> 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 do, uh, does he have a modeling career? <laughs> <laughs> well, if these new signings prove, uh, prove they're worth it, he might have to concentrate on his modeling career more than his football <laughs> career. <laughs> We shall see. <laughs> yeah, a couple of good, Cheers. good uh, British uh, Filipino guys, uh, Jason uh, Arroyo and uh, Aaron Di Um Looking forward to seeing them play. They look quite promising. Yeah, we had Sunday. a trial. We had a trial day Sunday. Yep. Uh, had a good turnout. Mm. So we uh, we had a few games against them. Bit of fitness. And yeah, some some top players that, that were lucky enough to come down and obviously signed a few of them on, mm. which is encouraging because. A couple of weeks ago, we probably had 11, 12. Yeah, I was getting the boots out of the, uh, out of the cupboard. Uh, we had probably 11, 12, definite, but that was including Mick and Mitchie. <laughs> okay. Who, uh, <laughs> who was there last time? It wasn't including Paul Hines, it was just me and Mitchie. No, yeah, <laughs> just you and Mitchie, so we, we were struggling. Yeah. But obviously, Steve, Randy, Cheers, Mick um, ran the trial day, got it yeah. sorted, and had a good turnout. Mm. Um, I think we were lucky that. We were the last team to do the trial, so oh, okay. you know all the guys that were there. <laughs> no man, <laughs> last chance salute. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, those who really wanted to play. <laughs> yeah. uh, but we've we found some some top lads, and then yeah. with the guys from last year should be good blend. Personally, I think I, think I said know. also the last time I was here when, when I was with with Darren um, um, that, that it's not a case of just anyone coming to play for Nomads yeah. because of the way that the club has quite evolved there's certain clicks there and you have to take a certain amount of banter yeah it wasn't the word <laughs> i was going to say but <laughs> certain amount of banter yeah um yeah. so you know they, they have to fit in and, and it's difficult if you take on new players who can't fit in mm, you yeah, know for, for myself and, and randy that you know you, you, there's sort of frictions with it. so yeah i mean the couple of the, the two lads jason and aaron a couple of good african boys um we signed Mikel, <coughs> Michael, Michael French, French guy. guy that used to play for the Braves. Yeah. Uh, last year, he came to our attention mm. in the Mini World Cup. Okay. Played well in the Kia Cup last. Uh, yeah, played last, well last, last week. week. So yeah, we're, we're, we're all right. You know, I mean, when you consider that uh, Auction House Manila <coughs> are no longer sponsoring us this year, it's um, that was a big disappointment. They've gone elsewhere to to look at maybe buying their own team and things. Uh, so we're currently without a sponsor. So each one of the the players there um, are basically playing, you know, for for the love of the game. Yeah. And as I suggest, you know, as I said before, uh, we went on air. We're currently doing a, a lottery number back in the UK to raise some money, which we'll try and give to these young lads who, who all, all want to to be mm. part of the the, the Ascal setup. Um, yeah, that's that's great. And uh, you were saying also off air that there's uh, you can't play any pay any salaries right now yeah, either yeah. because of this situation. Yeah. 
Um, which I think makes you the, the only club in the top uh, division to do so so far. Yeah. So it really is playing for the love of the game, yeah. as you say, yeah. Yeah. Uh, which is which is great. Um, are you looking for any sponsors at the moment? Is there any promise with that? How's how's that search going? Yeah, uh, very promising through through uh, through Jonathan Thorpe, uh, his contacts with with um, with someone. I'd rather not say the name. Okay. I actually emailed them today and said, look, we're, we're doing a TV program with, yeah. with you guys. What a fantastic opportunity to. So we're now yeah. got a new sponsor, and, and, and that's mm. the name of the sponsor. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, that hasn't happened yet, um, but you know, fingers crossed. Mm. If we can get something like and above what uh, Auction House Manila gave us last year, then we can <coughs> look at things in January. Mm. At the moment, the cup is just a bonus to us. You yeah. know, we're, yeah. we're going to get training, get ourselves fit, play a few games in the cup, and, and progress it. You know, over the next three months, and, and hopefully January will will take care of itself. I mean, coming from last season and going to the cup, um, what would be their, the major difference in terms of your approach towards uh, the game? I mean, obviously you learned a lot of things also during the last season. I mean, did you change any tactic or did you shift tactic, any strategies? What's tactic? <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think in the first part of the season yeah. last year, we learned that we've got to be a lot more organised. Um, say the first six or seven games, we were a bit gung ho or you know we thought we could go out there and just start pinging it about yeah. and we got caught out on the counter attack we were sort of playing too high we were a bit naive but the second part of the season we sort of you know established the south so we're a much tighter unit i think when you when you mention something like tactics and and how the team plays it depends on yeah. the, the players you've yeah, got yeah, yeah i mean you can't go out and say we're going to play three at the back five yeah. in midfield yeah, 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 and, of course. Uh, you know if you haven't got two lads who can get up and down at wide <laughs> or, you know, me and you on the wings for instance it's not gonna work. <laughs> oh definitely him <laughs> oh, yeah. well, definitely these two <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> What's this? So, so, I, so, I mean, I mean, you can always, you know, tactics are a great thing. Yeah, yeah. I can put all the checkers on that board over there and say, you do this, you do yeah. that, and you do that. But if you can't do it, it's not going to work. Mm. So the idea of is, you know, you get players to play in, in, in to play in positions that they're happy with. Yeah. They enjoy playing there, mm. and it benefits the team. Um, so, so back to, to to sort of follow on from what Phil said, it depends. How certain people perform over the next few weeks in training, mm. we'll see what we've got. Um, well, they play with two up front, one up front. Yes, you you yeah. just do that, you know, with yeah. the players that you've got. But at the moment, you know, we're, I think we're all quite happy with with what happened yes. on Sunday. You know, the seven, eight new players, well, we're quite happy with that. Yeah. Excellent. And what expectations do you have for the cup uh, going into that in the the last sixteen? Okay. Um, well, initially, I think if it's four groups of four, which have, we've got three games, obviously you've got to win two, yeah. two of the three to progress to, to, to what would be what? The last day at the quarterfinals, yeah. mm. which I think we lost to... Lost to Kaya last year, 3-1, three, okay. three three was three it? 3-1 three one in the quarterfinals last year. Similar kind of, mm. you know, thing that would, would be I mean, nice. If you yeah, get, get out of the group, then it's, then it's a lottery. We play yeah. one of the top teams. Last season, we drew with Global, drew with Loyola, so... Global, no Loyola, we should, we should lost fear. a couple of times to Kaya. Mm. Close, close, mm. close games. Close games, yeah, like I said, like said last time, there was only, you know, Morocco that really fairly and squarely beat us 4-0. Uh, the rest of the time we are fairly close games, yeah. Excellent. And, uh, well, good luck with that. I uh, really hope you do well in the Cup. Um, and for more information on Nomads, uh, get behind the Save Nomads campaign as well on Twitter. And you can uh, follow us on FTW Sports with uh, the Twitter handle at FTW Sports. Hashtag Save Nomads. <laughs>